To update your membership listing, select Settings in the top toolbar or select Company Information from the Account Settings drop-down. Looking at the summary will give you a good idea of which items are incomplete, which are indicated by the exclamation marks. You could then click in to update that particular area or click through and double check each section in this company menu. Organization information is where you'll be able to update your contact information with your membership organization, the record that your organization has on file for your membership. Make sure your current address and contact info, including a current phone number, email address, and website location are listed here. If your mailing address is the same as your physical address, then you'll want to check this box. And if this same information should also be displayed on the public website, check this box so you won't have to retype this information in the website info section. If you are an organization or business, make sure to enter the date your business or organization began operating. And then the billing contact is shown here as an FYI. However, the contact preference should be double checked as this does determine the default for how you would receive bills. If you are the primary rep, you may have the employees selection. This would allow you to view and or add new names depending on the permissions granted by your organization. This is also where you would designate another person as the billing contact if needed. The next two items deal with your listing as others will see it. If the information already saved in the organization info area is the same as what should display for the public, leave the check mark on Use Organization Information. No further updating needs done in this area. If you desire different public information than what is in the organization info area, then uncheck this box and make desired edits. For better search engine results, type the name of your organization in the website URL text as you'd like others to see it because this will become the linking text that is displayed for accessing your own website. Then you'll want to place any of your organization's social network links here and check the box of those that you'd like to display for the public. Enter all the requested information here, including your organization description, a summary that would appear in the search results, your hours of operation, written instructions on how to get to your organization, bulleted items that'll have an associated URL if desired, and then keywords, which should list specialties about your organization that are not already in your title or description, often products and brand names. Save your changes. Then you'll be returned to the top of the page where you can click Preview Web Page to see what the public will see. Next, the Categories menu displays the category that your membership has been assigned for lookup purposes. You may or may not be able to change it. View only is pretty typical here. Then with Custom Fields, you'll find it's possible that your organization may have defined some additional custom fields that you would want to go in and fill in for them or at least view what's been assigned. The next four selections are enhanced listing items. Under Logo, you'll find the Member Page Header, which places an extra graphic at the top of your member page, which is a nice way to give your member page a coordinating look that matches your website or company theme, but this is an optional feature and not all organizations will display this header. You definitely should upload a member logo it shows on your member page and other key locations in the member center and on the public website. And the search results icon shows just prior to accessing your member page in the search results listing. Often these two are the same picture, but just a smaller size for the search results icon. Click Photos and start adding images 
that will appear in the photo gallery of your member page. And don't forget that you can add a YouTube video link to your member page. Upload your video to YouTube and then copy the share link provided and paste it here. Photos, logos, and videos will display for other members while you are logged in to the Member Information Center and possibly for the public as well, just depending on your membership level and or the options that are offered by your membership organization. Finally, double check your map pin location. Select if you'd like to upload your own image, otherwise Google Maps will be used. A pin will show for your business unless you uncheck this box. If the map pin is not at the right location, drag the pin to the correct place. Or you can manually set the GPS coordinates if you know them. When the pin shows, it will display the address from your business info or any custom address that you type. And make sure to designate point of interest categories, especially if your membership organization uses any third-party directory applications. One last thing. You can give back to your organization by displaying a proud member of this organization logo on your own website. Simply generate, then copy and paste the resulting HTML code into your own website. Here's a sample of the membership badge for the Green Valley Chamber of Commerce that would be displayed on the Lake Home Hunter Realty website.